Didn't you actually go to like an a uh, um, like a French cooking school and then you ended up making pizza? French culinary school. All right, everybody, welcome to Rick's Cookout, the segment where I'm gonna go ahead and take some cooking culinary questions and uh, try and figure out what I can do to help these people. Go ahead. Uh, who wants to throw out the first uh, culinary related question? So, is it better to wear an apron with or without pants? Uh, definitely without pants. There's nothing like a fresh shorn set of balls rubbing up against that canvas. Yeah, very simple. Yeah, that was a good one. I got one for you. Greg, you got anything for me? Oh, Josh, here we go. I need time and temp for 14 pound frozen turkey in a microwave. In 14 pound frozen microwave. What? <laughs> like, I want to cook a frozen 14 pound turkey in a microwave. How long? God damn. I mean, we're talking hours. <laughs> uh, I mean, if it were for me, probably, let's say seven hours, 37 minutes. That'll get it to uh, proper temperature. Would you have to frost that first, or can you just throw it in there? Oh, just throw that shit in frozen. Oh, throw it in frozen. frozen. Rub a little butter all over the side. Oh, no, no That's seasoning. You mean. It's just going in. No, no, no. I just said butter. I didn't say seasoning. So you just put a little butter on it. No. Right? Throw it in frozen. It's going to taste great. It's going to be great. Yeah. I'll let you guys know how it comes out next week. Sounds amazing. So, so you could tell that Rick has worked in a lot of kitchens because he talks like this. I'm uh, telling you, I'm so far away from the microphone with the gain all the way Jesus down. Jesus Christ! Let me show God you something it. real quick. I'm looking at it. Look at the equalizer and how maxed out it is. Greg, you're just as maxed yeah, as Greg, I am. You're, you're just bad. <laughs> so now what? Eat a dick. <laughs> like, you're just as bad. How would you prepare that dick, Rick? If I were to eat a dick, if I were to eat a dick, uh, first uh, I would definitely want it kind of flaccid, um, something simple, uh, nothing too big, nothing too big. I, I don't have that kind of appetite, so we'd keep it as simple as possible. Um, warm, I would say warm to the touch, ninety-eight point six degrees, somewhere around there. So not hot. That's, uh, that's the temp. Yeah, yeah, not hot. Just uh, you know, good enough. Maybe a little room temperature. Would you put butter? Again, in the I would. I would take. I would take a good amount of butter though and smear that on it, uh, much like the turkey. And uh, that's how. Actually, Greg, I've just given you the recipe for the dick I asked you to eat. There you go. So on a hot day, is it actually possible to cook an egg on a car? Is it possible to cook an egg on a car on a hot day? Can't you do that on a cool day? Okay, I don't know. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I would. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So, so Rick, uh, I, I never got done hearing about your cooking school experience. Would you like to share? For oh, the yeah, fans? cool. Yeah. Uh, if you like to uh, go into a lifetime of debt um, and definitely change career paths within a few years of graduating, go to culinary school. <laughs> it's a great time. So a culinary school, is there like fraternities and shit or no? Did you join one? No, there were no fraternities. It was just a bunch of uh, drunk kids. You should have started one. I should have. I should have. I, I regret it now. It's like Feta Meta Beef, you know, Beta Epsilon Eggs. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, Rick, next question. Can you properly tell us what the correct use of a spatula is? The correct use of a spatula? Really, you shouldn't be asking me. You should be asking my wife. <laughs> oh, I don't God. get it. Can you explain that more? Yeah. Yes, I slap her ass directly with a spatula. Like a Naked? wooden one, like with the with the holes in it, or like a plastic, like a solid one. Whatever, whatever I have, whatever I have at hand. Is it like a fish one, or is it like a regular one? What's a fish spatula? What is ah. a fish? <laughs> There's a spatula shaped like a fish. Four fish. What? Oh, you talking about the wire? The wire? See, uh, see, I learned that, and I didn't go to cooking school. Culinary school? Cooking school. Cooking school. Yeah, it was a good time at culinary school. So, at, at your cooking school, was that at Taco Bell or Del Taco? Which one did you go to? <laughs> I actually, uh, I moved up in the world when I was in culinary school. I worked at Buca de Beppo, making pizzas. Didn't you actually go to like an, a um, like a French cooking school, and then you ended up making pizza? French culinary school. Um, and I actually wound up working in an Italian restaurant 
after graduating. But yes. So you had to go to school to learn how to make spaghetti? No, I learned how to make marinara. Uh, um, spaghetti just comes in pre-cooked at most restaurants. So what is the best technique for cutting crust off a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, okay, first off, why would you want to remove the crust? It's so good. But then second, um, is anything circular? Just circular motions. But then, then it's just basically like one of those frozen uncrustable things. Just total circular motions. Just remember that. That's the key to everything in cooking. Circular motions win the day. So how would that work with my frozen turkey in the microwave? Uh, when you put the butter on, it's a circular motion. When you're microwaving on the plate, it is also moving in a circular motion for the seven hours and 36 minutes. Yes, yes. Circular motions. That's that's what it all comes down to. So, Rick, how do you make a chicken la cordon bleu? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I stress the la cordon bleu. <laughs> well, first... You <laughs> le cordon bleu? First... You find an idiot <laughs> that really wants to go move to Vegas, and he accepts a really bad uh, student loan from Sally May. Hashtag uh, Sally May sucks my dick. Uh, then they're going to go. They're going to find a culinary school, and it's going to be called Le Cordon Bleu. And then Beth. Thank you. Uh, you go into this school. They hand you a piece of chicken. You learn how to cook it somewhat decently and uh, come out with a big bill. Chicken <laughs> liquid on <laughs> Is the bill in the chicken? Yeah, basically that's how it works. You learned how to cook chicken. That's yeah. it. I mean whoa, whoa whoa whoa. It's not just any chicken. It's chicken le cordon bleu. I learned <laughs> several ways to cook chicken. That's how about exciting. that? Did, so are blowfish overly sexual? <laughs> I mean, just in the name, yeah. And I'd like to meet one. <laughs> what about Hootie? Well, Hootie, I, fuck Hootie. First of oh. all, fuck Hootie and his Why? weird country music and his stupid goddamn... Because everything about Hootie sucked in his first band, and now he's like a country guy. Fuck that guy. I still love Hootie. Rick's a little angry. <laughs> like, fuck that song. Fuck all those songs. They, they're stupid. Bad music. I only want to be with you. Yeah, that's, and that's the only song anybody knows. Because it plays in every grocery store in America. <laughs> like, that's what we know. So, Rick, okay. what is the most difficult meal you have ever made? And why was it scrambled eggs? <laughs> <laughs> so, the truth is, the eggs are like the fucking hardest things in the world to cook properly. What? Um... That wasn't the most important, or would you say important or complicated? Most difficult meal. Difficult meal. Or complex, or hard, or whatever. We're talking about cooking, right? Yes. Well, there's, there's a lot of science in meth. I had to cook a lot of meth, and it was a whole lot of science. So is that how you, how the school makes you pay for your loan, or what? No. Well, I mean, that's what I thought, but then you don't actually get a good percentage off of it, so you still wound up, like, owing them at the end. It, it sucked. For the next 40 years. Yeah. Le cordon bleu. <laughs> so I think you just admitted to cooking meth on the on, on the podcast. Yes. <laughs> Was it blue? I Some wish. Tip to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. They're going to come to my house. They're going to be like, where are your beakers? Where, what are you? Where are your, uh, your beakers? He pulls out his stuffed animals from Sam's room. Like, <laughs> it's my little muppet. It's my muppet toy. <laughs> me, 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 me. You wanted to see my beaker? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> he starts to take his pants off. I'm so confused. Here. <laughs> <laughs> what do they make? They use it with fertilizer or something like that, right? So, like, where's your fertilizer? Like, dude, I don't know. I have a small bag. <laughs> my dogs are sitting a lot. I, I can't help. I'm just trying to get the yellowing out of the grass. But <laughs> I don't know. Any other questions? How do you effectively boil water? You don't. You don't. Hmm. Can you burn water? Yes. Ah. Oh, you can absolutely burn water. How That's that stink-ass smell. Uh, because you forget about it while it's boiling. It, it fully evaporates and burns the pan with whatever remaining li uh, liquid's there. That's what that horrible smell is that comes out of a pan when you let it burn all the way out. 
I'm gonna have to try that when I'm cooking my turkey but in the microwave. But it's not burning water. That's burning. Oh no. Pan. You know what? In in my previous days of uh, the complicated cooking we just talked about. Um, <laughs> No, 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 no. Sandwiches and shit, or what? No, no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the meth again. Um, <laughs> <what's> coming... <laughs> Just bottom line, um, you can burn water. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, me neither. No, it's totally possible when you're cooking meth. And I didn't happen. spend eighty-five thousand dollars for a cooking degree. And then you make it backfire. Eating. Lots of things. I'm asking Google right, right now. I don't feel like you got a very good uh, degree or education at this cooking school. Well, I mean, there's a lot, man. There's a lot to learn about. It's, it's you got to learn about the cook. You got to learn about the hustle. Um, how many you got weeks, your... How many weeks did you spend just learning how to cook with the microwave? Uh, not much with the microwave. It was more with the pressure systems. Um, I actually spent more time trying to figure out how to deal with this, the guys that were actually distributing for me. Um, they uh, they took a lot of work, man. They don't have a lot of education. They're just out there making their making their hustle. Just to be clear, we're talking about meth again. <laughs> yes, yes, we're talking about the meth. Rick again. from Roseman. <laughs> RR. R so, real quick, I uh, I had to Google about burning water, and this is what it came up with. It says water is made up of two elements: hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is flammable, but oxygen is not. You can't, cannot burn pure water, which is why we use it to put out fires instead of starving them. <laughs> that was an exciting episode of Works Cookout. <laughs> <laughs>